Hello, 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 Fernando. What is Good. happening? Great hola, rising. Hola, hola. Jay Levine, our leader, Craig. What is happening, everyone? Great rising. We are, it is 828. Who do we have on the call today? Thank you, Robin, Raina, Michael, Jen Ferris. I love you. Can't wait to read. Gina Richie. I think I tried calling you yesterday, Gina. Uh, we have Dan, Izaki, Joan, I love you. Becky Blake, what is happening? Antonio Tyler, hello everyone. Today is Trajectory Tuesday, and I'm so excited for the lessons that we have with Sean and everything that we have going on. So let's do a quick intro uh, and get it started. And before we do so, is there anyone who is new, anyone who has been merging or today on Trajectory Tuesday that has a focus? This is our unblinded morning huddle seeing what you don't see about the fun and excitement of exponentially growing your sales. We are here every single morning, 8.30 to 9 o'clock Eastern. And more importantly, I'm thankful for everyone in this ecosystem and this movement that makes these calls possible. So would anyone like to share on this Trajectory Tuesday, maybe like where they're going? Like, where are you now? Like, what are some things that you're doing today in service of your hopes, in service of your dreams, in service of your legacy? And if there's anyone who has never spoken or is new, we would love for you to take the power of the microphone and maybe just say hello. So Trajectory Tuesday, where are you going? What are we doing? Anyone new, ready, go. Well, I guess I'll begin to share. Um, today, I will be getting on a phone call with someone from the NFL. I can't disclose her name, but I'm hoping that, or God willing, uh, the meeting goes well. And if it does, it'll start begin to transform the trajectory of my life and the impact that I'm able to make just because of the merge of the ecosystems. Wow, brother, that is amazing. And I know who you are, but for everyone else, your name is? Antonio Gonzalez. Awesome. So thank you, Antonio, for leading the charge and being a second dancer and showing everyone what it looks like to grab the power of the microphone. Blessing, brother. We're praying for you. Nothing makes us happier out of blinded than seeing people win. And hearing this possibility brings us immense joy as we start off, are going to be conversations with thousands of people. So to kick it back to the community, uh, is there anyone else who has never spoken or is new that would like to share some news? And please, um, because I know things like this happen, this is not comparison. Like, you know, Antonio's relationship is bigger or smaller than mine. That is irrelevant to the fact that we're growing. It's not about yes or no. It's about our level of mastery. So anyone else who is new or never spoken, would you like to share what you're present to today on Trajectory Tuesday and what are we accomplishing? Ready, go. Hey, good morning, Fernando. It's Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany, what's happening? Hey, I'm not new, but um, we had, Michael and I had a, had a big um, trajectory change um, happen last night. And I just, I, I would love to share it because a lot of it is um, from what we've learned from Sean and, and all of you guys at Unblinded. So right quick, um, we're going into um, a new business adventure called the Business Enterprise Program. It's for visually impaired and blind people. Every state has it. It's a wonderful thing. So um, we had our, our eyes set on on this the site down in Yuma. It's a kind of a three-hour drive, so we're kind of hemming and hawing. It's an amazing amount of money for our family. But then again, like my husband and I would have to be apart and we waited and um, and just the amount of everything was just it's not going to work out because not because of money. The money's great, but because of what the, the challenges it would have in our relationship. We just didn't want to put ourselves through that. We'll make a long story short. We totally let it go. Like, all right, we'll just stay here in Phoenix. Totally fine. We'll start smaller and we'll just work harder. Right. Self mastery. Work harder and go get personal accounts, which we're still going to do. Um and build it organically that way. Um, so this amazing thing happened. He had the, the monthly meeting last night and it comes through that the vending that's there in all of Yuma, you guys, is pulling out. They're leaving the state of Arizona because it's a contracted company. And it's opened up wide open to the point where they're willing to rent their facility their warehouse, they're willing to sell their equipment, they're willing to, and we're thinking about these people that have jobs, or Yuma's not a big place, I mean, it's a big in area, but it's not heavy populated and with really good jobs, but we know, Michael and I know, it's our heart to give people good jobs, good employment, where they'll have, they'll work with us until they can't, you know, 
and um, and move up and and build build a beautiful infrastructure within our company um, using um, the unblinded formula. And so <laughs> it's just this amazing thing that's happened because um, the infrastructure is already down there. So Mike's travel time wouldn't be as much. And um, and actually, when we let it go and it came back, the money's even going to be better. So it's just completely oh. changed the trajectory of our life and, and the, just everything. It is just truly amazing. So 100% appropriate for Trajectory Tuesday. So thank you. Absolutely love it. And thank you for what you and Michael are doing in the world. I had the pleasure of chatting with Michael yesterday. And before we go into this, you know, very overdue acknowledgement validation, it's 834. Sean, are you here with us? Tiffany, any optics? Awesome. So let's keep going. Yes, uh, Tiffany, Michael. Right, you're doing he, said he, yep. he said he was going to hop on. Yep. Okay, awesome. So Michael, Tiffany, you're doing amazing things in the world. I had the pleasure of talking to Michael last night for about an hour uh, in service of Vibrovision and many other things. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I heard Tiffany. I heard the whole conversation. I'm like, I was trying to unmute and I couldn't, guys. I'm sorry. Sean here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sean. Take it away. Yeah. Hey, so, um, yeah, thanks for everybody for being here. Happy to be here. I'm to make a special acknowledgement for today um, for the fine folks of Calgary Law, um, our incredible team there. Um, I said it before in the huddle. Um, I think some were not on and, and perhaps I missed it. Um, when Unblinded Sales Mastery came together uh, for over that incredible weekend, the incredible team from Calgary Law not only showed up, um, and participated, but were extraordinary um, in supporting people in every conceivable way. Their energy um, in the crowd and facilitating check-ins and just in service of people um, was absolutely extraordinary. So, um, you know, thank everybody from Calgary Law that's on the huddle this morning. And to hear from anybody that wants to jump in uh, with a share, if anybody wants to, about what that experience was like for them um, and what's happening. Or then Fernando, how about for yourself, um, and maybe uh, Jared Adam, what was, you know, what was your optics on the Calgary Law team um, and their participation on Blinded? Absolutely selfless. They were there. They were present. Uh, it brings me great joy when uh, we're in the Calgary Law office, which is a nerve center for Hyde to the back at the moment, and uh, we have people walking around with unblinded hoodies. So the support and the love um, has transcended beyond the events. Um, Michael, Fred, Jessica, and just so many others, Carolina, Lisa, that have done such an amazing job of being present and making everything that Unblinded is possible. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say that if it wasn't for what Caliki Law has done prior to the events, Unblinded would not be positioned the way it is. So from the team and from everyone, I, I think it's fair to say that Caliki Law, thank you. This movement would not be possible without you. And everyone on this group text, whoever on this on this movement is thankful for what you've done, what you what you're doing, and what you're gonna continue to do. So thank you, Cal Law. Thanks, Fernando. Oh, Adam. Hi, this is this is hey. Iwana. Um can I have hey, a couple Iwana. of seconds to say something? Yeah, of course. Iwana. Um, I'm an attorney. Hi, I'm an attorney at Cal Law and I didn't have service before because I would have jumped in a little earlier. Uh, first of all, Fernando, thank you for your kind words. We all, I know, enjoyed it so much. And Sean, happy late birthday. I hope you had an amazing birthday and you got everything that you wished for. And um, in, regards, <laughs> in regards to um, the Unblinded Weekend, it was absolutely phenomenal, at least for me. I guess you can look at attorneys kind of um, being in the sort of sales department as well sometimes. And I think that I learned, you know, skills that I never knew that I had hidden somewhere. So I, I really, I really enjoyed it so much. And I honestly wish it was longer, <laughs> but thank you so much, Sean, for putting everything together and everyone that participated. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, well, you are most welcome, but I, I do thank you, Juana. I thank everybody from Canada to off for, because this is something we've been doing internally. So we can't hear you. In, in, you know, from 2003. Hey, Sean, uh, so we can't hear you. Yeah. Hello. Oh, boy. Yeah, can you hear me better now? Yeah, yeah. you just need to stay close to the phone. Yeah, that's weird. Sorry, guys. Thank you for telling me. 
so I ran it from two ran that the training program from oh three to oh six uh and you know for with client base and a a more um i would say um intimate higher priced train development program um than what we're doing currently and then uh we've been doing this for Calgary law and for clients at Calgary law for the past more than a, you know almost decade and a half so to share this with the world the way they're sharing it now um was extraordinary and you know for the incredible our team at Calgary law their participation has been remarkable i mean it's it's what's enabled um so many incredible things to happen and continue to happen so yes thank you for that adam i think you were going to jump in and say something yeah, absolutely. I, I want to say thank you to you for giving uh, us the ability for the public forum to thank Calgary Law. Uh, privately, I definitely spoke to, to to a lot of people over there to thank them for the really like uh, Fernando mentioned. Without them, we wouldn't have had this opportunity. They were amazing at the event, and they're amazing every day when we're running around on the Calgary Law floor for our nerve center and everything, dealing with us in and out on on speakerphone and everything. So absolutely grateful for all of them thank you so much for all they do every single day and of course again at the event they were absolutely outstanding i don't know what we would have done without them there yeah good morning and, and, good morning everyone oh, hey hala what's cooking huh yep um sorry, only I have trouble. Jaluti. what's up hala the good hala morning food. i had trouble unmuting earlier um i just wanted to say that it was an ab absolutely unbelievable event for us the energy was amazing but it was a lot more than that because um as you just said um we've been uh involved in it from before and to see it up like that on stage for the whole world for a larger audience was so um emotional to me and it was um unbelievable seeing the dream come true and just honored to have been a part of it yeah and so, and so thank you guys for that. Um, any other final comments on that? Because I'm going to segue into your trajectory shift um, on this Trajectory Tuesday. Um, anybody else have just, anything on that? Just 30, sec just 30 seconds. I want to give Chris hey, Miller. A Hello, everybody. I just want to give Chris Miller a big shout out. Um, there are things that go on behind the scenes to ensure that Unblinded is protected. And Chris Miller is source on all of that. And he is... A, a phone call away from me. It's really amazing to have access to him to brainstorm some of the deals that we're putting together and his promptness and desire to ensure that everything about this just runs frictionlessly is just a testament to his character. So I don't know if Chris Miller is on here, but just want to express my gratitude because he's been wonderful to work with on so many levels. I hey, wanted to shout Chris out. Miller. Awesome. Thanks, Thank man. You, man. I appreciate You're it. The best. Appreciate yeah, you. Great job, Chris. Yeah. This Chris crazy is an absolute stuff. beast and warrior. This is Craig in SoCal and Chris Spiller. I didn't know he knew anything about California LLCs because he's out in New Jersey, but he does. And I just want to say I had a great talk with him and he really helped me out. Well, thank you, Craig. And great job, Chris. And for those of you that are for those of you that are out there like, okay, there's a lot of acknowledging that goes on um, during the unblinded huddles. It's not just acknowledging, it's also um, teaching because one of the indispensable elements in the uh, influence mastery component um, is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement's extraordinary because it's I see you, I hear you, and what you say matters to me. And so the process of how we acknowledge um, with integrity is absolutely extraordinarily important um, in our relationships. And when relationships begin to fail is when acknowledgement begins to disappear and not be present. So I am um, as we acknowledge, it's also a, a great learning tool to feel um, that sense of acknowledgement, to experience the emotional energetic transference that goes on. And so as we experience these huddles each morning, um, they are all multidimensional. Um, there's the actual acknowledgement that feels good for people that get acknowledged. They feel, and there's the component where it feels good to acknowledge. And then there's a lesson of like what acknowledgement can look like um, at uh, you know a, a wonderful and higher level of mastery. So what it what it would look like at a lower level, like, hey guys, just want to say Caligula, you guys did a great job and I'm blinded. Thank you. Like that's different than sharing um it the way we did and maybe even a higher level mastery might be, you know, this could be something that um people at a law firm could look at as silly, unnecessary, um, some level of otherness. I mean, they'd be wrong. 
they'd be wildly wrong and they'd be uh, blinded, quite frankly, not unblinded. But that could be a very common way of looking at things. And the people at Calua not only haven't looked at things that way, they've, um, by and large, for more than a decade and a half, uh, the folks, the leadership, the people that are a part of our, our essence and our team have looked at this work and the formula and people in general as extraordinary and important and ways that we can all accelerate, work, and learn, and grow together. And that's what's been happening for everyone. So immensely grateful to the team Cal you all, and that is the acknowledgement from my heart and from everybody here. And with that said, uh, you know, it was how it very kindly said, you know, this is like the embodiment, a dream come true. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the next beautiful level of progression and acceleration. But what my dream coming true truly looks like and the unblinded dream coming true is our building um, stages, platforms um, for everyone, literally and having all of the fine folks in this huddle leading, teaching, growing, sharing, expanding, and that beginning now. And that trajectory shift, you know, I, I glaze over the story at times, but let's, you know, go back in time. When I first realized that creating, as Jay Abraham would say, preeminence, the way we would say our heroic, unique identity, and our heroic, unique identity, I think, add some factors to the notion of preeminence um, from the heart-based approach, you know, the, the love, the synergy. When I realized that an important way to do that was by adding massive value to people without necessarily a direct linear return through public speaking, whether that public speaking be to a group of uh, four people at a lunch table, or as it began for me, when I started my own uh, networking group um, and and quickly realize the flaws in the networking process and realize that instead of looking for referrals, what I should be creating through that group, and now we're back into uh, 1998, what I should be looking for from that group um, first is to add massive value to people. So they, they saw their future in me, so I felt good. So I was a valuable part of the world through my listening, through what I was trying to help them do. And then I realized that much more important than the, the, they were trying to refer me, you know, work. They were trying to uh, send me cases, you know, back in 1998. Um, but they, they didn't have that much work to send me. And I realized that I was not in an optimal space for creating the referral of cases and work. You know, somebody would refer me a will. Um, I remember one of the early um, cases that I was referred from that group of people um, was somebody had – their car stolen and the insurance company was a dentist. The insurance company claimed that the car really wasn't stolen. He staged it, which he didn't. And that was one of the cases, but that case was going to take six to 12 months to resolve. And it was on a contingency. So I wasn't, I was in desperate financial situation um, back in 1998. And I was like, this is just not going to work. You know, the, the, these are beautiful people. I love them. My group, I think I had like five people in that group. I look at a dentist, a chiropractor, a financial services provider, a mortgage person, uh, I believe, and, and so many real estate, if I didn't say that. So I think it was like five people initially besides me and nothing was happening. And I was like, wow, like this is not, um, this is sub suboptimal to say the least. Then I began to realize that through public speaking, um, acceleration would truly happen. And that's, as many of you heard the story, when I started talking to the chiropractic, a chiropractor about the Northern New Jersey Chiropractic Society and speaking in front of those fine folks. The challenge, however, in all those dynamics was, um, I don't tell the story as often as the things that didn't work. I remember I did, um, and they probably could have, but my processes were suboptimal. So I remember doing a speaking engagement in front of um, a number of police officers about wills at that time. I was like, maybe that's um, a pathway to growth. I remember having conversations about speaking in front of people in real estate, um, about potentially doing real estate closings. So it wasn't just like I had one conversation with a gentleman who's a chiropractor and all of a sudden, everything just magically accelerated. That is not what happened. It was a, a number of uh, what I would now call ecosystem merger meetings, the opportunity to get public speaking engagements. And then we caught traction 
And that's what created the base of acceleration. In addition, on the other side, um, I had somebody who referred me work in the space of representing uh, folks that were doing headhunting. And um, she was part of a, a small group of folks. And she began to refer me some of her friends that were having difficulty getting paid. So I share a little bit more of that micro detail because we're talking about a blinded and how big the event was. I'm taking us back to 1998 when I was broke and I was on my credit card and I was sitting in a networking group once a week with five other people and nothing was happening. And then I began to see the access point to ecosystem merging. I was working on a few different directions. And the other thing that, and I was working on a few different directions. Some of those directions gained zero traction. Uh, some of those directions gained traction. And the chiropractic society was enormous. And one more thing is I got a phone call one night from um, somebody that said that they had a chiropractor having a major dispute with an insurance company. And I said, like, I don't know anything about this. Well, the way this, the story actually goes is, the, this person who was a friend of mine from the law firm that I had left um, after six months, the big firm when you know I felt it was oppressive and I just first learned that you had to sell and build relationships. And so in that, um, he said, hey, I have this crazy chiropractor that needs help with his pip arbs. Um, would you ever want to meet him? I said, of course I'd want to meet him. What the hell is a pip arb? And he set up the meeting for tonight. So I literally didn't understand this area, but I understood enough to realize that in the law, it wasn't about expertise in an area in terms of litigation. It was about your ability to influence. So that night I went down and had a meeting with him, and he wanted to go all the way that it was not the way it was going to go for me, and it wasn't what I deemed to be appropriate or, or right. And I was able to work through his objections, have him see my unique identity, worked within the formula before I had even codified it. Like I knew there was something. I knew I needed to disrupt. I knew there needed to be agreement formation. I, I had already begun to understand the concept of um, preeminence and unique identity. I didn't have a powerful unique identity story in terms of what would seem powerful to the outside viewer, but I did because I had my heart. I had the work I did in law school. I had my athletic background. And what I was able to convey to him through my unique identity was heart-based. That was the acceleration that had him say yes. And I achieved some extraordinary results for him. And these are longer stories, but then he started referring me to all kinds of people. And, I, and it, I gained in my unique identity in that space. And a short time later, there were people who were um, having extraordinary conflicts with insurance companies that were – their picture was in the newspaper, and some of them were being uh, sued improperly. Uh, some of them were being sued properly for one thing, but the insurance companies were overreaching in other parts. And so that became something that I hit massive acceleration in simultaneously to speaking in front of the chiropractic society, and there was incredible synergy between the two. And all of it happened because of the formula. So I share that for everyone. So we're not looking at like I'm blinded and oh my God. And, you know, there's like, um, you know, whatever things that I've been uh, privileged and blessed to accomplish, I've been privileged and blessed to accomplish. For some, it may seem like not a big deal. Like to Bill Gates, it's like, who, what? Like no big deal to Oprah, like what? Like that's nothing. For some, it may seem like, wow, it's extraordinary. It's a lot. And I'm simply sharing what it looked like in 1998 when I had no money, I had no accomplishments in the legal world whatsoever, and I had um, no – and I was in a networking group thinking I was waiting for referrals from other people, and this is how the formula operated to change everything in the trajectory of my business and my life, and less than 12 months later, I had bought my dream beach house, and like that for me was what success looked like. It was getting um, – out of debt. It was having an income. It was having the beach house. It was having a place for legacy. Like that moment was, was mind blowingly unbelievable. And only six months later through some of the things that happened, you know, I was able to be generating and resolving things for cases I was working on, uh, in the medical revenue recovery space, um, on a, you know, we get paid when we recover basis for, for doctors, chiropractors, I was able at times in an hour to make $15,000. And, 
you know, six months before that, I was charging $125 an hour for my legal services because I was so afraid to ask anybody for money and was so belittling myself for my time. So I share that as a like a stone of remembrance, a pillar of what this is. So we're not looking at it like, oh yeah, it's easy for you to say now, Sean. Like, no, no, I did this. And that is what it looked like. Like that was the birth of all of this. And that is when I said, this formula is insane. This works. Why don't people understand all this? And why is it that such beautiful, wonderful, hardworking, caring people are struggling economically, or str- like, are, are not moving forward, like, and they're going to personal development seminars. They're taking programs. They're learning things. What is it that I could teach them and share with them from my heart, not so they could become famous, but so they could earn a living and have less stress. They could have some more magic. They could have some more free time. They could have the the basics of what they would hope the American dream for them would look like. And then they can get there, and then they can decide what they want to do more and what they want to share more, what they want to contribute more. At the very least, they could be empowered with decision-making, and that was the birth of the formula. And on this Trajectory Tuesday, I share all that as a reminder that that is what it looked like for me, and that's what it has looked like for so many people who live inside the formula, even if they don't know what it's called. When Bill Gates launched Microsoft, he didn't have, he did not have the operating system. He had to go out and find it. And he went out and found it. So he ecosystem merged with the guy that had it and then brought it to IBM. And then IBM said, great, we'll buy it. He said, no, no, I'll license it to you. So this was a, a, a you know, a, a complex multidimensional ecosystem merger bolstered by the fact that he had a unique identity access point through his mom, who I don't remember the precise details of the story, but had a relationship with micro, uh, I'm sorry, IBM that enabled him to get the meeting. But all those things were just essence of the formula. And he was able to convey his unique identity enough, they'll report, convey his unique identity enough, understand their pain points, form an agreement that they said yes. They said yes, that they would, that they would license it from him. And then he had to say, get a yes from the guy who's making it in his garage. So, it's what Microsoft did. It's like we go down every single story in the world. It's what I did, obviously, on a much smaller level. It's what each of you have done when you've had the success you've had. So that's what trajectory shifting is about. It's about understanding the power of um, ecosystem merging, the stage and the microphone, creating acceleration. And like that's what we're up to and doing here. So any questions, thoughts, or comments about any of that, your call to action for today being yesterday it was to assess yourself and see where you're going, the call to action for today is to be in your ecosystem merging, taking action, not sitting back, not being inspired in the morning, not feeling simply, we totally want people to feel safe and connected here. We also want people to feel challenged here to accelerate and take action. So that said, any thoughts, comments, or questions? Hey, Sean, just one comment. We were at 100 participants, and I got a text message from someone in my ecosystem saying they couldn't get on the call. So our trajectory needs to change to a bigger forum. Absolutely, brother. Listen, Jay, thank you so much for that um, that point. I'm sure our team um, you know, has that, and be able to make sure that we're on a larger platform so more people can, can fit on. So, Jay, thank you so much. And, guys, like, you know, um, call to action is ecosystem merge. Be in the formula. Um, we are here. It is time to accelerate. This is not hype. This is more like peak performance athletic training. Um, this is not a, a place of, you know, spiritual connection, although it's not, not a place of spiritual connection, like, right. Just like a sports team. Like I love my high school teammates. I was so blessed and privileged. They were my, a bunch of them were my 50th birthday and our Christmas party. Like it, it is about like tribe. It is about family. It is about like a team acceleration, Um, but it's about results for you because if you're here and it's just listening and it's not coming alive for you, that's like being on a team and not being in the gym, being on the team and not being on the field. Like this is about our acceleration. We're here in the locker room in the morning. It's like call to action. Let's go. And let's make incredible things happen in the formula, not wildly, you know, unknowingly inspired. And remember if you're working on ecosystem merging, you have your dream reach ones that you want to be working on, and you have the most easy and simple ones that are closer to you where you could begin to create that acceleration like I did with the Northern New Jersey Chiropractic Society, 
like I did with the referrals from my former, um, my friend at the former firm that referred me to the crazy chiropractor. Um, I say crazy because he had a lion in his backyard. He was eccentric. He was wild and a person who, you know, I have a lot of love in my heart for, um, you know, to this day. So um, with that said, um, Jared, any final wrap up pieces for today? I love the call. I love the enthusiasm. I love the fact that we hit the century mark again. Um, we have already expanded the Zoom, so that won't happen again. But uh, that's, a, that's, that's a testament to all of you. I mean, this the whole concept around the movement started with the power of one, right? And the power of one has nothing to do with Sean or Fernando or Adam or myself. It has to do with each and every one of you thinking of that one person that needs to be present. And we're well over 3,000 people now, right? Like that's, that's 100% because of all of you. So thank you for helping this movement reach that next level of trajectory. Well, let's do it again with one person that you've met recently that's not inside of this movement and let's get them inside of it because we know that they're better inside of it than outside of it. You're better when they're inside of it than outside of it and collectively we're all better together. And I'm sure that's what this feels like, right? This is like that true sense of belonging. We're on a team. So with that, let's put our hands in, virtual hands in once again, take yourself off mute, give you a few seconds to do this. And on three, when I say three, it's down and up. So we, we gave Sean the right, the right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah real quick, if I could jump in and yes. say this, real quick. And then you go, make that one person you invite somebody for you. Make it somebody who's a potential ecosystem partner that you want to add value to their world. There are things the two of you can do together. Make that a person for you. And as you bring them here and walk through these processes together, it's going to create acceleration and massive exponential increases for both of you. Go ahead, Jack. Awesome. So hands in. Everybody's off mute. Get off mute. Give you guys like two more seconds. Get off mute. On three, we say together. So that's how we do it. One, two, three. Together. 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 Thanks, everybody. Go get it. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, guys. Came in at the end again. Bye. Thank you, Sean. Bye. Jared, call me. See everyone.